Hey y'all. <laughs> so you've been, you've flown in a plane, but have you ever jumped out of a plane? This month, we're in North Carolina and we're skydiving. Ah. All right, so day one of skydiving, we just, I hate that. <laughs> Uh, got a guy named Greg Windmiller. He trains Navy SEALs. He trained George Bush, uh, Mike Rowe. Who else does he train? I don't know. George Bush. Wow. Yeah, George Bush. I think he, um, Princess Diane, um, Obama. Uh, we're meeting him there, and then we'll what? We're going skydiving, baby. All right, guys, we just got back from skydiving, and we want to tell you what really happened. <laughs> What's up? Mm. 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 Uh, all right, guys, I'm here with Kevin Beasley. He's our producer. We got Spencer Pruitt. He's our co-host. And we got Dylan King. He is our one of our main camera guys. Well, what happened? <laughs> Everybody was actually scared to death. Yep. Um, the first two jumps we had, I couldn't breathe at all and did not have much fun. Let's so. talk about that. So, uh, Spencer... He uh, typically can do everything better than most everyone, except breathing while skydiving. <laughs> hey, nickname me the mouth breather, um, unfortunately. So, um, so you're falling out of the air and you're... Uh, you have a sensation, the air is like rushing past your face, and I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. And so I was like in panic mode the first two jumps, during free fall. Like you would get one, I'd get one good breath, I'd like put my hand up and lean to the side and get one good breath and then... It was just fun. And so then when the first jump by ourselves, I bought that yeah. buff thing. We went to Walmart and, and got a, a buff to go to my face. So my first jump, I didn't know if I was going to be able to breathe again or not. Like I was hoping that would work, but it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get scared of much, but that jump we were going by ourselves, I started to be like, I want one more tandem. And they're like, just do it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, so that was the biggest surprise for me was how fast we got to solo jumping, mm. and, and and let's be let's be clear, they're they're still holding on to you as you jump out of the plane, but then they let go as you're falling, and th that was on the third jump. So yeah. we did two tandems, um, we did some wind tunnel work. Did you guys? I mean, what did you guys think of the wind tunnel? I mean, it was wild. It was crazy. It yeah. was it was very um, helpful. I would yeah. say if you're gonna train to do it by yourself, learning how to fly in the wind tunnel is is a huge leg up so so at one point uh in this whole thing the guys asked our crew hey do you guys want to jump and a lot of them yeah. decided to do it yeah Absolutely. so you you both jumped right mm -hmm. we did yeah. yeah pretty awesome it was gnarly jumping out of the plane <laughs> and i i know what spencer's talking about with breathing like i was focused <coughs> real hard yeah. on breathing i didn't have to do any of the drills yeah. or anything but it was yeah. like hardcore thinking about all right Stuck in and blow out, and right. you know, and it's just yeah. My tandem got crazy. ace. Did you have ace? I, did. I, I was, ace. I was, ace. I jumped with Pete. Got, with Pete. Yeah. He helped Spencer a ton. He with. like right before we jumped, he said, "Look at me." Like he's, he's a very dramatic kind of guy. He's actually an actor on the side. He looked me in the face and said, "If you can't breathe and you feel like you're gonna die, just breathe." Like, just get past the fact he tell you to here. He tell you to <laughs> just scream. And yeah, laugh. yeah, scream. And I did that. Like as soon as we jumped, just. Ah! <laughs> and uh, it just, oh, yeah, I can yeah. do this. Yeah. And then it's just, you don't really have the sensation of falling. It's just, um, the Ace is like the, oh, one right. of the best speed, speed jumpers in the world. His top speed free fall is 290. <laughs> so, I mean, Good. that's crazy. So, he kind of played around a little bit. I think generally you go about 120. He got us a little faster. But it's just like 150, like you're standing in a hurricane, like mm. straight line <laughs> wind. And you're like, your face is like this. Yeah. You know? But you're looking, it's just so gorgeous. Yeah, you see the curvature that there. See, so, so everyone fun. says that. Did you, when, did you like admire the view during the free fall? Yes. I did, yeah. I did. I was just blacked out. You're just <laughs> trying, you're trying <laughs> to breathe. <laughs> I was literally like, watch. Heading, watch, heading, and yeah. see. I didn't have to I, think about that because yeah, I wasn't right. going for yeah. a solo, so I had a blast. I, I did a little bit, <laughs> not a ton, because there was a lot of. Uh, yeah, I was expecting a stomach drop, like coming out of the plane. Yeah, yeah. No. you don't it's have surprising. that. The only time you feel like you're actually falling is when you pull a chute and you like yeah, mm -hmm. yank. Yeah, and then you're like, it. you got three seconds of, oh my gosh, yeah. I hope <laughs> open, this thing open, open. opens. <laughs> so that leads into my first or my last jump. No, it was my it was first. my third jump. Third, first solo jump, third jump. Right. Um, I got two guys on side of me, and I reached back and pulled my chute. 
<laughs> and I start spinning like a top in the air. And I'm thinking, not good, not good, not good. And then you feel the pull. And then you're like, whoo, that's awesome. And then I looked up and my whole entire shoe is wrapped up in twists yeah. and the, the leading edge or the, the ends are all cupped in. And I'm, I had to have been falling still at 60 miles an hour. And so they went over, they were great at training. We went over every scenario that you could think of, of what, uh, with pictures of what might happen. If this happens, do this. If this happens, do this. This right here is line twists, right? This is when you have a massive amount of twists in the lines between yourself and the parachute. This is called a bag lock, where the parachute has not come out of the bag. This provides no lift capability whatsoever. You're still streaming towards the ground at 120 miles an hour. This is two canopies out. This is, happens is your reserve came out and the main came out, and now they're in a biplane configuration. Imagine a biplane airplane, right. wing on top, wing on bottom. This right here is a biplane configuration with one in the back and one in the front. All right, if you grab your pilot chute and you throw your pilot chute out, but your pilot chute gets wrapped around your hand, what are you gonna do? What do you think you should do? Yeah. Panic. <laughs> <laughs> try to get it off your hand by simply straightening your hand okay. and getting off. Do not take your other hand and go over and try to free it because you can uh -huh. tie your hand or now you're gonna be rolling and now you're gonna have your container come open when you're rolling, okay? There's like 10 scenarios that mm -hmm. I was running through my mind. Okay, and then they say, hey, at 2,500 feet, <laughs> Uh, if you haven't figured it out, you need to cut that chute and pull your reserve chute. So you're looking at your altimeter. You're back into free fall again. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's, it's like, okay, I got a lot of things. Where am I at? Okay. And then I'm, you know, I might have been cursing a little bit and praying <laughs> at the same time. And so I just, I just kind of went to work, like, trying to untwist and pull and twist. And, and I started, I got some momentum and I started to spin. I'm spinning. I unspun myself and my chute popped open. Mm -hmm. And I screamed like a girl. <laughs> Thank you, God. So that was intense. When I landed and I look over and I'm like, my, my thing was twisted up. And they were like, ah, you'll be fine. And they really never even yeah. acknowledged it. Peter was like, that was my first jump. Yeah, that was it. And I think I'm ruined. We've done a lot of adventure together, like went to Alaska and did all the bush, and we've done all these adventure shows. It's the first time you got to the ground and I said, dude, do you love it? He's like, I'm done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do this again. Yeah, the, the, my last jump, I was really glad that I, it opened and I landed. And I just said, you know, yeah. I've got four young kids at home <laughs> and a business and i got a lot to lose. Yeah. I'm really happy I did it. I'm a little bit happy it's over. <laughs> Oh, that time my my shoot was perfect, so I didn't have uh, I didn't have any trouble. With it. We and, talked uh, about like you've got two minutes, and it's like you can't. You got one minute. One yeah, minute. one minute. You got I'm one minute. Like, if something goes wrong, you got one minute to figure it out, or you're dead. One, so, yeah, yeah. Right. And so that that's just you know I like the odds to be a little bit better in my <laughs> yeah. favor when I'm. But right. it was an it was an amazing time. I suggest anybody that wanted to do, wants to do it. It's cheap to do mm -hmm. it. It's it's awesome. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, absolutely. It is. The most adrenaline that I've ever felt, and I don't think of, I can't think of anything that would have more adrenaline right. than that. It's and then there's a lot of drop crazy. zones. Like you can just look up drop zones near you, and there's places all over the country to go to. Right, so it's pretty accessible. Talk about the challenge, you know, of shooting this. You know, we, we you, they wouldn't let us do really any air to air. Right. Uh, they had some guys that were certified jumping with us with GoPros, but we couldn't get in the airplane. So we had three guys running cameras. Two were crippled, not crippled, <laughs> yeah. but they were. Uh, coming off surgery and so they weren't really able to run much. So the best part about having like the guys that were there filming with the GoPros is they would have the footage from the plane, they'd jump and they did awesome air to air footage and then they would, you guys would pull your chute and then they'd zoom down, they'd get down and they'd take their helmets off and then they would sprint over to you guys, they would know kind of, they'd see where you're coming, your trajectory and they would come and they'd be there ready for you and then I would run out and it's like We'd see Trenton landing like a mile away, and then <laughs> yes. Peter's no, landing no. close, and Spencer's landing way over in the field yeah, somewhere crazy. else. And so, like, <laughs> we're trying to book it over there. We got like Micah doing the zoom lens. He's like trying to capture the footage as best he can. All right, tell me all about that I'm experience, buddy. Oh, every, every time I do one of these adventures, I think this is it. This is the pinnacle of adrenaline. But they were really good about kind of getting that initial reaction where we could come up and kind of get the post interview of like how you actually felt after you'd kind of calmed down a little right. bit. And then we'd have like a walking back to the headquarters base or whatever and do that. But it was crazy because like 
uh, we'd get ready to jump, we'd be under the pavilion, we'd like have the GoPros ready to set up, and the plane would come in and it hardly even stop. You yeah. guys would hop in, you'd get in, and then you'd be gone. I mean, we're like, fast. what the heck? And so we'd <laughs> try and get the GoPro set up, but we wouldn't, so we'd have extra GoPros just in our hands, so we'd golf cart over to the runway and try yeah. and set them up, but by the time we'd get over there, you guys had already taken off. They were just efficient. They were very they moved efficient. So fast, yeah. and it was just the, the plane would barely beat you to the ground. I mean, right. you jump out, and then you'd be seeing the plane, and you'd like, I hope he doesn't come over here. I hope he doesn't come over here, and then he lands, and you land right next to yeah. him, mm -hmm. and he taxis over there, and you run and get another shoot yeah, on. Crazy. And, I wish we had video of you getting pulled over yeah. for your <laughs> I, 26 I got ticket. On my phone, maybe we can add it. Yeah. Got that <laughs> that patch in the tire though. Oh like, yeah. On the side of the highway. First we had a flat tire on the back left. Now we have a flat tire in the back right. Just patched it. On the side of the interstate. On the limp. side of the interstate, left to the gas station and the gas station air pumps, as many of you know, are less than... Can we put the cap back on them? Less than good. Hey man, I'm alive. I jumped out of a plane twice. I don't care about a little flat tire. Why am I doing this? Why do I pay you guys to do stuff? Can I look at it? So with all these adventures, they don't always go off yeah, without a hitch, true. and this one for sure didn't. Yeah. It was tough. a challenge. This is the hardest one. I think we've uh, filmed seven now, and uh, this one was tough um, going into it. A um, couple things. One was weather. Weather was a challenge, so we had to completely rebook, and it cost quite a bit of money to. You Two know, times. Yeah, yeah. The first one was weather, uh, and then the second time, our guide had Greg. kidney stones. Yeah, Greg. Greg had kidney stones, Oof. and obviously, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We will reschedule. We yeah, didn't yeah. put you in the air with our lives with kidney stones. So, yeah. um, so that was really tough. But uh, the other thing that made it real challenging, in some ways, in some ways, it was really great that we actually filmed this back to back with NASCAR. Yeah. So, like, literally, Peter Spencer is going 150 plus miles an hour at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And 24 hours later, you're in a wind tunnel. Right. And then two hours later, you're doing your first. Um, Jump. Right, and so. it was um, that was, I was. I'm glad we did back to back. We should probably do them like that more often. But it was, you know, intense. that was a solid it week. Was intense. Yeah. And and you know, you guys think, hey, this is all fun and games. Yeah. But this fun. is like anything else you do. Uh, there's camera. There's people. Yeah. There's logistics and food and housing yeah. and and so there's there's a lot of work yeah. to be done. Literally, yeah. We we get up at six. Just Waking on the early, shoots, we get up at six and we'll sometimes we'll be still filming at ten sometimes, uh, depending on the. Yeah, what we're doing. And these guys, I mean, they're dropping footage till two yeah. or three in the morning. So there's yeah. not a lot of sleep on these trips, but yeah. it's worth it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of good stories to tell. All right, guys, that's skydiving. It's in the books. Mm. You guys make awesome. sure to apply and subscribe to go on the next adventure with us. We'll see you on the other side. Keep grooving. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this could be whatever.